This is Bill. Bill watches Mr. Tutorials YouTube video. If he likes those videos, then he clicks on the like button. If he finds the content useful, then he subscribes to the channel. Be like in. In today's tutorial, you will learn how to create captions or subtitles for any video using the CapCut app. But there is one limitation to this feature. It does not support all languages. It works only for few languages such as English, Japanese, Korean and so on. But it is fine given the fact that CapCut is completely free. So if your video language is among supported language, then you can create captions quickly. Let us get started with today's tutorial. Tap on the new project to start the new project. Select the video for which you want to create the captions. I am selecting one video which I created in my last tutorial about voice recording. So if you have not seen it, then please check it out. For this tutorial, I will go to the stock videos and select any blank video because I want to do voice over recording to show you how auto caption works for inbuilt audio as well as for voice recording. Tap on add button to start the project. I will move the playhead to the blank video which I added and quickly do a short voice recording. Please note that video will mute for few seconds as mic cannot be shared by two Android apps at the same time. But I will play preview later. Tap on audio button at the bottom. Tap on record and then just tap on this mic button to start the voice recording. Tap on OK and let's preview what I recorded. This is test voiceover. It is just small test recording which I did. Let us move playhead to the start. Go back. To add captions automatically you need to tap on text button at the bottom. Then you will see the third option called auto captions. Please tap on that and it will pop up a new window. Let us go through all options one by one. Original sound means the audio or sound embedded into the video. So captions will be created for it if you select it. But in case your video has no sound then this option will be grayed out and will not be selectable. Next is voice over. It is nothing but the voice recording like I did. Third is both. If you select it, then captions will be created for both audios, the original sound as well as voice over. In my case, when I select both, it does not work properly. I will show that issue shortly and also work around or solution in case you have the same issue. Next is remove selected captions. I thought it will remove already created captions, but it does nothing when I tried it on my own. If you know how it works or for what it can be used, then please write in the comments so that I or other viewers can learn something from you. Last is language. By default English is selected as my device language is English. If I tap on it, it will open list of supported languages. So if your video language is one of these, then you can create captions automatically. Let us go back and tap on continue. At the top, you will see message saying creating auto captions. It will take some time depending on your video length. So as you can see, it created two times captions for the original sound, but it did not create any caption for voice recording. So this is what happening with me. Maybe it will work fine for you. So I will undo this and again tap on auto captions. First I will select the original sound and create the captions for it. It will take some time. So as you can see the captions have been created for original sound. Now I will go back again tap on auto captions but this time I will make sure that the voice over is selected and then tap on continue. Hopefully it will create the captions for the voice recording. So as you can see, it has now created the captions for the voice recording. At the bottom, you will see different options which are 
same like you see for the text but in addition to that there is one more option called batch edit so tap on that as you can see on the left hand side there is a time and on the right hand side there is a text so you can scroll it and check if the captions have been created properly if the spelling is correct or not in case something is wrong then you can tap on that text or that sentence and you can do the changes so let's say i want to capital size b of bill then i can do it i can also change the t from small letter to the capital letter you can also change font and style if you want so tap on font i will change it to barlow go to the style because currently the text is very small to increase the size of the text you need to tap on spacing and at the bottom there is an option called size so just drag this line till the size is visible or okay for you again tap on the text to change the color i can change it to let's say red and at the top you see apply to auto captions is already checked it means all these changes what we are doing here will be applied to all the other text if we uncheck this option then these changes will be applied only to this text which is this is bill but not to the other text but generally subtitles have the same font and same styling so it makes sense that this option is checked click ok and let's see if it has been applied to all text so yes it is applied to all of them and let's preview the video this is bill bill watches mr tutorials youtube video if he likes those videos then he clicks on the like button if he finds the content useful then he subscribes to the channel be like bill this is test voiceover as you can see the auto captions feature has recognized my voice properly there is no spelling mistake the timing is matching perfectly but obviously you need to make sure that your voice is louder and clearer the pronunciations are correct if there are small mistakes then you can go to the edit option and correct them definitely it saves a lot of time compared to the manual process of creating the subtitles or the captions if you like this tutorial then please click on the like button subscribe to my channel in the description you will find the playlist for more capcut related tutorials there is also a second playlist for light motion app related tutorials if you are interested into that. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. Stay healthy.